Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a Q&A video. I have not done one of these in a very long time on my channel, so I figured we could go ahead and just, you know, do a Q&A. I uploaded a picture on my Instagram and I had you guys ask me a whole bunch of questions. I have over 200 questions, so I'm not gonna answer all of them, obviously, but I figured I could go through and answer some of the ones that I've never really gotten before. So if you want to watch this Q&A and learn a little bit more about me and my life, then just keep on watching and here we go. So the first question is from charchar underscore 69 and she wants to know, how did you and Shane start talking? Um, I probably do a whole story time on how I met my boyfriend if you guys want to see that. I can definitely film that for you guys and tell you the story of how we met, how we started talking, things like that. Another one of the really big questions that I got is, are you going to get Avril's little brother? So for those of you who don't know, I do have a puppy. If you guys have followed me for a while, you know exactly who I am talking about. Um, she's a po Pomeranian Chihuahua mix and I got her when she was just a little, little puppy. She was only about eight weeks old when I brought her home and recently her parents had had another litter of puppies and one of them was a boy and a lot of people were asking me if I was ever going to get another puppy because I talked about it in a vlog about how I was considering getting one so yeah that's that and I made the decision that no I am not going to get her little brother the main reason being one it was not in my budget um, just because I have a lot of like tattoo plans coming up and having a puppy and taking a puppy to the vet every two weeks was just not in the budget for me. I didn't plan on it. Um, I didn't save for it. And also another really big factor as to why is my landlord only allows two dogs per apartment and I already have two dogs. I have Jackal and I have Avril. My landlord said no, I cannot have a third dog. So that's the other reason why, but he is honestly the cutest little guy. I do have a picture of him um, of the last time I saw him so I'll go ahead and show you those really quick he is seriously the cutest little thing so that's the last time I saw him that's what he looks like I really wish I could have gotten him he was so cute and I'm sad about it but it just wasn't the right time unfortunately I asked her that if her dogs do end up having another litter that I will be more than happy to take another one if they have a boy I'll probably never do another girl dog. Um, I definitely want to stick with boys. Just from the experience of having both boy and girl dogs, I like boy dogs better. Um, so yeah, that's just the deal with that. I'm not going to get her little brother. Unfortunately, he's already sold and he's already with a new family. And also, if I were to get him, I was going to change his name because I talked about how I would originally was going to name him Manson. And her kids, because she has quite a few kids, one of her kids actually named him Jeff or Jeffrey. And I was like, oh my God. So if I would have ended up with him, his name would have been Jeffree Star. But unfortunately, no, he is sold and with a new family. This next question is from bitchy.anna and she asked, do you believe in astrology? Absolutely. I'm really big on the whole sign thing. Like, especially like if me or someone have like different characteristics, I'll definitely kind of play along with the whole like, oh, you must be an Aries or you must be a Virgo. So I'm very big into that and I am a Virgo and I very much believe that I resemble a lot of things that a Virgo is so yeah I'm pretty big on it I don't like study it or anything so I'm not like an expert on that kind of stuff but yeah I do believe in it for sure Emily underscore Lee 18 asks do you believe in ghosts if so have you ever had any paranormal experiences I definitely believe in ghosts I believe in the paranormal I believe in Jesus Christ I believe in Satan I believe that all of those things exist as far as paranormal experiences, I've never personally had one. However, I do have a little bit of kind of a scary story that happened back in June. Um, around June, and this was around Marilyn Monroe's birthday because her birthday is in June. So the day before, I can't remember if it was the day before or the day after Marilyn Monroe's birthday, I have quite a few pictures, not quite a few, I have a ton of pictures of Marilyn Monroe hung in my house. And the day before, the day after, it was like really early in the morning, maybe like 1, 2, 3 in the morning. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, like two, was it two? Two or three pictures of Marilyn Monroe fell off my wall, completely flush against the wall, and smashed and broke and crashed everywhere. Like what are the chances that like the day before or the day after her birthday, three pictures of hers 
just fall off my wall. And several weeks after that, a lot more of my pictures of Marilyn started to fall. All my other pictures were fine. It was just pictures of Marilyn Monroe that literally just fell off my wall and crashed everywhere. It was super weird. I don't know if that was anything paranormal. If so, that's freaking sweet. If not, I don't really know. Maybe it just was like a huge coincidence. I don't necessarily want to see a ghost. I don't necessarily want to experience the paranormal in like great lengths, but I definitely believe that it's there. The next question is from Anne Katarina. I hope I'm saying that right and her question is do you like living in Michigan or would you like to live in another state? Um, I do like Michigan just because we do have all four seasons spring summer win fall winter I really like the four seasons. I could never live somewhere where it was just hot all year round I am NOT a fan of the heat. I am NOT a fan of summer whatsoever So I could definitely never live in like Florida or California or Texas or Arizona anything like that I want to be somewhere where we do have all four seasons because I love fall. I love winter Those are like my two favorites um, if I could live in another state, it would probably be Maine. You guys know I have this like weird obsession or fascination with going to Maine. I don't know why. I've never been there before. Just something about the state of Maine, I just really want to go and visit. Okay, I just had to switch camera angles really quick because I felt like I was a little too close up. So hopefully this is better. Sorry if I was like all up in your face. Uh, the next question is sorry. <laughs> the next question is from Vera Orbanic, and she asks, "Do you regret any Jeffree Star products that you bought?" Um, absolutely not. I love every single one of my Jeffree Star products. I think the only one that's like not my favorite is the Princess Cut Highlighter. I just feel like that one for some reason is packed a lot differently than the other ones and it's not as pigmented. You have to really kind of dig to get any sort of product out of it. So that's really the only thing that's not my favorite, but do I regret any of them? No. Next question is from Spinosaurus7 and she asks, would you get a finger tattoo? Absolutely I would. The only reason that I haven't or the only reason that I haven't gotten my lightning bolt touched up yet is because my job that I have outside of YouTube requires a lot of work with my hands and finger tattoos and hand tattoos don't really tend to heal very well when you do have a job or you do work with your hands very roughly. So I would but you know I don't know. I don't have any plans to I guess. Emily underscore Marie underscore Exceling, I hope I'm saying that right, is do you think you could survive a horror movie? And the answer is yes, definitely I think I could because I've seen literally over a thousand horror movies by now in my life probably and I know what to do, I know what not to do. Like when you hear a noise in the basement, don't go there. You know what's going to happen. You know it's not good and people always go there alone. Why do they do that? I don't know, but I would never do that. So I definitely think I could survive a horror movie if, you know, if that situation presented itself. So yes. I'm a badass. Brenda underscore Shalom underscore asks, are you going to do any collaboration soon or in the future? I would absolutely love to do one. There are quite a few YouTubers that I would like to collab with. Probably one of them would be Pink Sparkles, Morgan Joyce. Those are like my top two that I would like to collaborate with. Um, but do I have any plans to? No, just because I haven't reached out or no one's reached out to me to do one. So that's the only reason. Sophia underscore Clarkson asks, what's your favorite exercise to do at the gym? My all-time favorite thing to do at the gym is definitely leg day and booty day. Um, I, my biggest, like, I don't, I'm not really that big of a fan of my legs or my butt just because I feel like I'm too skinny. I feel like my legs look like toothpicks. I've just never been that big of a fan of my body. Being this skinny is not something I ever wanted to have happen. I'm just, I'm someone who just has a very high metabolism and I'm just someone who's very naturally skinny and naturally thin. So I love doing leg day because I like building muscle. My thighs are getting thicker and also I I love working on my butt just because I wish I had a bigger butt but I'm not someone who's going to run out and get a, any sort of butt surgery I just feel like that's not really worth it because even when you get like some sort of butt surgery you still have to work out your butt to maintain it so I feel like just working out my butt really kind of helps so those are my two favorite exercises to do the next question is from Clara XYX asks if someone gave you one million dollars what would you do first I think the very first thing that I would do is I was go I would go and get my boobs done um, that's something that I've been kind of playing around with recently is I really kind of want to get um, 
a breast augmentation just because I've always been very, very flat chested. I'm a 32A or smaller, so my chest is very small and just recently, and I've always kind of played around with the idea of a boob job, but recently I've become more serious about it, which there may be videos in the future talking about like a future boob job for me. Uh, but that's probably the first thing I would do. The next thing that I would do is buy a car or vice versa, get the car first, then my boobs done. And then probably after that, I would find either a townhouse or a house to live in. So those are probably like the top three things that I would do next. Tiger Emma 10 asks, how long have you been doing YouTube for? I started doing YouTube full time and taking it seriously back in 2012. So 12, 13, 14, 15. So about five years now I've been doing YouTube full time seriously. But I started my channel in 2010 and that's when I would just upload random videos and then after I got piercings I started doing piercing videos and it just kind of took off from there. Underscore Lily.s asks, where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I see myself married for sure, and I also see myself buying my first house. Courtney Horror X asks, if you could only keep one piercing, what would it be? I got a lot of questions like this, and if I could only keep one piercing, it would probably be either my belly button piercing or either my nipple or nose. Those are probably the two that I can think of off the top of my head. Isabella.Maria.Householder asks, I know your favorite food is white rice, but what is your least favorite? I can't stand licorice. Girl, me neither. That stuff is disgusting. Just the smell of it puts me off. I hate it. Um, my least favorite food is probably meatloaf. I don't know why, but for some reason I've never liked meatloaf. It is just absolutely nauseating to me. Like just saying the word, like my stomach kind of twists and turns. Like I just... It's disgusting. XOXO Stephanie Joe asks, do you have any thoughts on all the new drugstore cosmetics recently, favorite brands and such? Um, yeah, actually, for some reason, I don't know what's going on in the drugstore makeup world lately, but they have really been stepping up their game. As you guys know, I'm a huge drugstore um, cosmetics fan. I usually always use drugstore products. I usually get all my makeup from the drugstore. And the one brand that kind of really sticks out to me is Wet n Wild and L'Oreal. For some reason, those two brands have just kind of taken the makeup game and ran with it. They've been doing excellent, especially Wet n Wild. Like, I remember back in the day when Wet n Wild was like a brand that no one wanted to buy because they were so low quality, whereas now they're like really stepping up their game and they're taking it a lot more seriously and their products are absolutely amazing now. NerdGirl92 asks, how is your job going and how are your fur babies doing? Uh, my dogs are doing really good, thank you for asking. And how is your job going? My job is going really well. I recently changed my availability to only two to three days a week now, just so I could focus more on YouTube because I told you guys that I wanted to get back into YouTube full time. So that's basically everything going on with that. I am still the assistant store lead, so everything like that is going good. Melissa.xo asks, you're so beautiful, well thank you. And how do you keep yourself so skinny? Um, really the only thing I have to say to that is just my high metabolism because realistically in my own personal life I eat like shit, I drink a ton of soda, my favorite place to eat is McDonald's so I don't really know why I am so skinny but still um, yeah just my high metabolism. Nicole underscore 19 asks, what is your dream job if you if you were to ever get another job? If I were to ever get another job, I would probably take a break, a very long, probably permanent break from retail and customer service just because dealing with people for over the last two and a half years is just a goddamn nightmare. Um, but if I could have like one job in particular, it would probably be either a vet tech or a dog groomer of some sort. Definitely something to do with animals and dogs. Jasmine underscore Velveteco, hope I'm saying that right. If you could only listen to one band for the rest of your life, who would it be? Hands down, it would be Volbeat. Gabubi underscore asks, do you think you'll be spending the rest of your life with Shane? Hands down, absolutely, 100%, yes. Oh my God, you guys, I am head over heels for this guy. He is seriously the nicest, most amazing person I have honestly ever met in my entire life. He is definitely someone I would want to marry. He's definitely someone that I'd want to, you know, buy my first house with. He's someone that I'd want to have my first kid with. Just everything that I never wanted to do in life, I want to do with him. Like, I want all those first times to be with him. 
Car Carabella XXO asks, does Shane want kids? Uh, yes, he does. He wants two kids. And for you guys who either do or do not know me, you guys would know that I am someone who has never wanted kids. I've never been a fan of kids. Just growing up, I've never really been around kids. I've never, I've just never been a fan of kids. But I mean, if the time came and we were both financially stable, I feel like I would have a child with him just because he would be a fantastic father. He would be a fantastic husband. So um, I probably would have a child with him. Do I have any plans to at the moment? Absolutely not. I definitely want to be married before I ever even think about having kids. So um, I mean, if an accident happens and I become pregnant, um, I wouldn't be upset just because I know Shane is a really good guy and he would never leave me hanging. Eden Harvey asks, if you had to dye your hair any color, what color would you pick? Um, black. I absolutely love my black hair. It is hands down my all-time favorite hair color that I've ever had. A lot of people were asking me about the blonde and the crazy colors. Those are fun, but I'll save those for my undercut. As you can see, it is bright green right now. Uh, but I have no plans to change my hair color for a very long time. I just love the way black hair looks on me. I love how easy it is to maintain, and I love how less damaging it is than the bleach blonde hair. So... That's that. Casey Jade 370 asks, if your life had to be based on a horror movie, which would it be and why? This is a really good question because I really like the kind of questions that really get me thinking and this one definitely does that. So I think, oh my gosh, this is really hard just because I've seen so many horror movies. Hmm. Let me see. Oh my gosh, that's a really hard question. Um, hmm, right off the bat, um, <laughs> Psycho, <laughs> I don't know. FY, is Fi sick? I don't, I'm sorry, I suck at names. Um, her question is, elephant-sized puppy or a puppy-sized elephant? That's a really good question. Definitely a puppy-sized elephant, because how freaking cute would that be? Like, a little baby elephant running around the size of a puppy? Like, yes please, sign me up. And her other question is, if you could have one of Marilyn Monroe's character traits and one physical trait, what would they be? Um, if I could have her one character trait, it would be her outlook on life. I feel like no matter what was going on in her life, as soon as she walked outside, she just instantly lit up the world. Like, every, t I don't know why, every, like, I'm getting teary-eyed, but, like, every time I see her in a movie or I see, like, a picture of her, um, and if I could have her physical trait, it would definitely be her body. She was definitely more of a curvy actress. She had the boobs, she had the hips, she had the butt, and I love that. I think that is absolutely sexy. Um, I cannot stand super overly skinny people. That's nauseating to me, that's gross to me, which is weird because I'm a very skinny person. Uh, but if I could have her physical trait, it would be um, her body, her boobs, everything, and just like her natural beauty. Ali Marie 329 asks, would you ever cut your hair short, though I love it long? Well, thank you, I love it long too. Um, honestly, absolutely not. I think the only reason if I were to ever cut my hair short is if I damaged my hair really bad and I had to cut it, or um, I lost all my hair. That's really the only way I would ever go short. Um, I did cut my hair into a long bob last summer, and that was really fun, but definitely I'm going to keep my hair growing long. It is growing back quite substantially, so I'm happy about that. Abby.the.viber underscore asks, will you ever get your septum re-pierced? And the answer to that is probably not as long as I have three nose piercings. I feel like I don't need a septum piercing. I just feel like it would look super, super crowded, which if any of you are wondering, I have two different size hoops in, which is why this one hangs down more. So I don't know why I'm an idiot and did that, but I'm just noticing it now. Gustav underscore 39 asks, why did you and your boyfriend move in, move in together so quick? Um, I feel like that's kind of a personal thing that I don't really need to explain to people on the internet. I feel like what I do in my life outside of YouTube is really no one's concern and no one's business. I'm not killing anybody. I'm not breaking any law. So, I mean, I don't really understand why it's a big deal, but, you know, he's moved in. It's been absolutely amazing. He actually helps with rent and he helps around the house and he helps with bills, unlike, um other people. So yeah, obviously it was quick, but I don't feel like I need to sit here and explain why I did that. Like everything's been great. So why not? We're happy together. And 
we're both very serious together, so I don't see why it's such a big deal. Ooh, this is a really good question. Villa dot Mikakana. Oh my gosh, I'm butchering this. If the whole world was listening to you, what would be your speech? Much love coming from Minnesota. Oh, hey girl. Um, if the whole world was listening to me, what would be my speech? Um, probably probably just a big speech about don't let anyone fuck with you don't let anyone tell you what you can and cannot do don't listen to people who tell you what to do with your life um fuck the government <laughs> no but like honestly just my speech would probably just be all about you know do whatever you want do what makes you happy don't worry about what other people say and usually i can't stand when youtubers say this kind of stuff because it sounds like super cheesy and retarded but you know, like my speech, I would just be like, you know what, fuck everybody and do you, you know, because at the end of the day, no matter who you're closest with or who you love the most, at the very end of the day, you only have yourself because, you know, other people, they can disappear at any time, but you always have you. So always do what makes you happy. Ding. Okay. And end ending the cheese alert. <laughs> Allie underscore cat says, what would the theme of your wedding be? Would you do a traditional theme or do something hardcore? Um, definitely for my wedding, I would keep the ceremony small and the reception big. Because obviously, you know, the reception is the funnest part of the wedding. You know, you get to drink, you get to dance, you get to mingle. Like, that's my favorite part of weddings. Um, the theme for my wedding would definitely be probably more on the traditional side. I would like to get married in a church. I would probably wear a white dress even though I'm not a virgin. Um, I would probably do the traditional white dress. Definitely I would want my bridesmaids to have a really fun color. I don't really know what it would be. Maybe maybe black or gray and then I'd want my groom to be in black and white. I feel like that would be really sexy. Like all black with like a white tie. Oh, oh yes! Have you ever considered doing story times on your channel? If so, like what? I've actually done a ton of story times on my channel. I have a whole playlist of story times. So if you want to um, check out that playlist, I do have one and I do do story times on my channel already. So you're welcome. Do you also ask any piercing horror stories? I actually was considering doing a story time on my most horrific piercing experience. If you guys want a story time on that, let me know. I would love to do it for you, but I have thought about that. Yes. Ellie underscore princess 95 asks, when you're out and about in your town, do you get people coming up to you trying to touch your tattoos or any remarks from people on the street about your tattoos? Or do you get any compliments on your tattoos? Um, see, that's where the real world and the internet world are two very different things. I have never had someone come up to me in person and tell me how shitty my tattoos are. Whereas on the internet, such as YouTube, where you guys are now, I get people constantly bitching about my tattoos. That is the one thing that people complain about is my tattoos and what they look like. Whereas in the real world, everyone usually always compliments me. I do not get people every time I go out, people don't say things. It's only on occasions if I'm like wearing shorts and my leg tattoos are showing, I'll get a compliment. Or if my arms are showing in like a tank top, I'll get a compliment. But I don't just, you know, go out and check my mail and have people come up to me and comment, you know, so not really. I've never had anyone in person say anything bad, um, no negative remarks in person, just on the internet. And yeah, I do receive compliments every once in a great while. Jenna One Shell asks, what do you love most about your boyfriend? That's very easy. Just the way... He just has a very kind and very gentle soul, and I think that's something that's very new to me. Um, you, I'm very much used to something the complete opposite. I'm used to someone who's very hostile, who's um, just very aggressive, just very on defense all the time, whereas Shane is someone who's very, very much understanding. He's very... He's very forgiving. He's very sweet. He's patient. He's kind. He just... Everything that I've never experienced before in a boyfriend is what Shane is and it's just it blows my mind every single day Like every time I see him or just observe him. He's just such a nice person and Oh my gosh, I don't know. I'm just I'm obsessed. I I'm crazy about him The next question is from it's just me Kennedy XOXO asks if there was a book on your life beginning to end Would you read it or would you put it down and live also? Would you ever get another puppy? 
Um, if there was a book on my life that was published by someone other than me, I probably would read it and I would probably make a whole review about it because nobody really knows you except for you. So no one can really write a book about you. You know what I'm saying? So no one could really look at my life and write a book from beginning to end. I feel like only really I could do that. So I would probably read snippets of it or certain chapters of it and then probably come on here and review it for you guys and tell you what's true and what's not because if there's one thing I don't stand for is it's fucking bullshit on the internet that people like to spread. Also, would I ever get another puppy? I would only get another puppy is if I had help because I did Avril, her puppy stage, all by myself. My mom did also help me a little bit sometimes, but when Avril was home with me, a lot of it was done by myself. If money wasn't a problem, you could and you could trip anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? Definitely somewhere tropical like the Bahamas. I really want to go somewhere and I want to go shark seeing. I want to see a shark in person. Not physically coming at me in the water, but like on a boat and I want to like look down and see sharks. I think that would be really cool. And also I want to go somewhere tropical where the water is super blue and pretty and white sand beaches. That's like somewhere I would definitely want to go. Not somewhere I would ever want to stay permanently just because it's way too hot, but that's probably that's probably where I would want to go. The next question is from Dania Alagui and she asks, do you think it's interesting and helpful to talk about mental illness on YouTube? Um. This is a very kind of uh, touchy subject that I'm not going to get too deep into because I could make a whole separate video ranting about this. Um, my answer to your question is absolutely not. I feel like when you struggle with something internally and I feel like when you struggle with anxiety or depression or mental illness of any sort, I feel like you need to sit down one on one with someone who can help you. I understand that going on the internet and venting to a camera is very therapeutic. Obviously I've been doing YouTube for five years, I talk to a camera all the fucking time. So I get it, but I don't feel like it is appropriate to put your personal struggle and your personal hurt out there for the world to see. I don't think that's okay. The one reason being is because one, I think it looks like a desperate cry for attention. I cannot stand when people make videos about their mental disorder. That drives me nuts and I'm starting to get heated. But I feel like it needs to be spoken with someone who can help you, someone who's close to you, someone who really you know, I don't know. I'm just it's very very touchy for me to talk about this kind of stuff just because I get a lot of hate for it, but I just can't stand when people YouTubers make videos about their mental illness. They just need to keep it hush. They need to get help and they need to build themselves with themselves rather than blasting it all over the internet for everyone to see. That's just my thoughts. Angela underscore Savoka asks, will Shane ever be on your channel? If not, it's totally fine. LOL, love you. I love you too, and I do get a lot of questions about when I'm gonna have Shane on my channel and things like that. The answer to that is I do not have any plans to ever have Shane on my channel. Um, the only video you guys will ever see him in is I do plan on changing out his nose piercing for him, so you guys will see me changing his nose piercing, but there will never be a sit down talking video with me and Shane. The one big reason is because I've been there, I've done that, and number one thing is YouTube and the internet ruins relationships. I will forever stick by that. I will never ever have another relationship public on the internet again. When I started my channel, the relationship I was in at the time, um, my channel was very, very small. I had maybe 2,000 to 5,000 subscribers. Um, it was very small. I didn't get a lot of interaction. So I didn't really think of the repercussions of having a relationship in the public eye. I never really realized how bad it can get, especially when you know my channel did start to grow and people were spreading rumors or trying to hook up with my ex or just trying different things like that. It's really hurtful and it really puts a big strain on your relationship and that relationship at the time was not very healthy so we didn't know how to cope with all the negative things coming from the internet so I just made the decision that I'm going to keep my current relationship very 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 private you guys will only ever see snapchat pictures or instagram pictures that is it I do not want him on my channel just because I don't want to expose him to the very hateful world of the internet. It's not that I'm not proud of him or I'm not crazy about him. I am, I wanna scream at the rooftops about him, but I don't want him on the internet. I don't want him exposed 
to the horrible, horrible world that it is because the internet, especially at times, can be a very hurtful, very, very mean place. And I don't ever want to expose someone like him to that. You know what I mean? Bella underscore B underscore 16 asks, why do you hate Apple? Um, I think she's talking about like Apple products. The main reason being is because I think they are very much overhyped. I don't think that they are good quality at all. I think the price that you're paying is the price that you're paying only for a brand name and you're paying for a chewed up Apple design. I will never buy Apple. If I do, you guys can, you know, decapitate me, but I don't know. I've just never been a fan of Apple. Um, you just constantly hear about people's MacBooks breaking or running out of memory or their editing program crashing or every everything else and then people's iPhone smashing or catching on fire or the chargers breaking. Like, you do not hear of that stuff very commonly with Androids or different laptop brands, which is why I have an Android, which is why I'll always have an Android, which is why I have a Lenovo desktop and an Asus laptop. Like, you will just never see me with an Apple product. Okay, everybody, so that is everything that I have for my Q&A video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give a huge thumbs up and don't forget to go down and subscribe to my channel. Also, make sure you turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on future uploads from me. But as always, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye!